let's go here. Which way? This way? Oh yeah, three broomsticks. No flying. I'll say it again. Hello. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's not irrational. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? Adorable. I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. If only Ron were here. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded <laughs> to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. I can personally confirm both. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> Pavelio. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. Oh yeah, this is the, um, the ding I couldn't find. It's really loud, and you go upstairs, and it's not there. Yep. Okay. So we're not doing that yet. We're gonna go here. Go see what you want. I'm not a fan of the cloak physics. It's too flushy. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. I don't like that the under part comes up over the top part. Need help? Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Hmm. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. So, if if you don't have time to brew, are you actually delivering stock that's not up to stock? I'd rather not deal with difficult people, but for a reward, I think I can manage. Indeed. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Okay. So where are we going? Three invisibility potions? Where is she? He said she wasn't far. Oh wow, she's far. <laughs> okay, all right, let's. Hmm. Oh gosh, so much. Uh, where's that one? Because that's before we even reach Hogwarts. So let's do that one. Let's do that one. I really- I like this hat. I think I like the robes. They, I'm not sure they match. 
Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? You've entered an area that allows flight. Press L1, then tap this. Yeah! Got my purple broom. Oh, someone said we could collect while on brooms? We can! Ha ha! Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Oops. Oops! Okay. Landing is available right now because I just did it. this person doing? Nothing? There's something out there. <laughs> An unidentified item. Take it to the room of requirement and figure out what it is. Love you. I love you. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. <laughs> she said follow the butterflies. Are we gonna find butterflies? Find butterflies in the Forbidden Forest. Okay. Huh? Oh. There they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, well there's another stairs. This far. Miss Willardsey might get an answer about these butterflies. Hold on, I need- I need these. Uh, that says spiders that way. Please tell me you're not going that way! Uh, I need to change... How do I change the... Wait. There we go. Huh? Oh well, look what we have A here. Christmas tree? Is that it? Return to her? That's all she needed? Oh, uh, um, you know what? Incendio. Oh, I forgot I had upgraded it. So does that not work now? Incendio. That's kind of lame. I gotta get so close to it. I got them both? Oh, that's right. I upgraded it. Duh! Duh, you upgraded it. <laughs> they do stuff now. I can't pop that one? Doesn't want to. Focus on that one. Weird. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Revelio. Since we're here, let's see what's up this way. Why not? I have 
no whoa idea where I'm going, but What's this? An aura killed? Uh oh. Oh, these mark the Merlin trials. Merlin trial. What? Oh. Do I hit that? No. Incendio. No. Lumos. What do I do with these? Is that a spell I don't have? All I have is Expelliarmus and Reparo. I don't know that I can do this one yet. I'll go this way. Because it just looks interesting this way. Hopefully that stays activated, even though I can't do it yet. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. What? <gasps> the hell is that? Oh, toadstool. Are you guys scared? Rebellion. Off on another adventure, are we? Apparently, this might be like an actual quest location. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. This, this isn't the way I came up. But anyway, I'm gonna go back to- I'm gonna head to Hogsmeade. Oh. Alright. Well, cool. let me land, please. Thank you. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Don't they technically in this map? Isn't that technically true? Still talk about you taking. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? Nothing exciting. I was well rewarded. I mean, they led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Okay. Glad I could help. <laughs> All right. Next, we're going to go do a flight test, because that, yep, will take us there and we can do that. I wanted to buy some stuff from the guy, Tomes and Scrolls? Was it you? Yeah. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious we, mind yeah. like yours. We're gonna get into the room of requirement, so I'm gonna need some of this stuff. Um, two large pots. I need that. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Hopping pot. So this gives us more moonstone. Unlocks the ability to conjure a hopping pot that periodically gives us random potions. This lets us feed our beasts. Toy box. Potting table with three small. Five small. Ooh, that might be nice. Alright. Let's grab this one. Nothing like finding just the right thing. Let's Is grab this one. I think we need the toy box. 
I've been told that that's not super useful. This can be useful. That can be useful, but it's expensive right now. Nothing like finding just the right thing. And then I can just buy this and say the hell with it. Cool, let's just do it. There, I'm broke. <laughs> Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. But apparently all that is needed. Aww. I wish you could ride a hippogriff. I've ridden one, of course. Several, in fact. Uh. I just wondered if you knew what it was like. Uh-huh. Sure. That's... Last week, I performed a knee reversal head on a second. Hogsmeade, here I come. You're leaving, Hogsmeade. <sighs> Damn it. Oh. There we go. Let's just head straight over the lake. Oh, let's go. Are those diving spots? No, it's gotta be just where it's crashing. Can I crash into the water? This is pretty cool. I like this broom. I'm glad I picked it. <laughs> I was a little worried picking it over the house broom, but I like the little lantern. And I like that it's purple. Purple's my favorite color. It's supposed to be the moon over there? It's tiny. It's the greenhouses. This is pretty cool. Let's do a rematch. Not before we do these broom trials. Oh, you're actually on the Quidditch pitch, are you? Hey, you, Hufflepuff. Uh huh. Imelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. Mm -hmm. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. <laughs> That's not what happened. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. <laughs> you're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. I wouldn't Enough be here if I was a squib. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all, built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So... Let's see what you've got, fifth year. All right. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Ugh. I wonder what she says if you're in her house. This is rather fun. Excellent. Do I have to pop all the balloons? What happens if I miss? Nope, missed those. Yeah. Are, do the bubbles like help you put on speed or something? I don't fully understand. <laughs> These controls are not the best. 
Another one? Oh, we're over King's Cross. Not King's Cross. The Hogsmeade Station. Damn these controls. Flying controls, I have to say. I mean, I'm getting the hang of it. It's just, it's just not as smooth as it could be. I still beat her record, even with my penalties. Maybe you should take the guy's advice on your flying technique. Ugh. That's not- you, you must have cheated, you- Ugh! Oh, fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. <sighs> you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Why would I want to do that? I don't want your respect! I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. So this is to, to challenge other racers. Oh, what happens? Is there a point to making it to the top of the leaderboard? Or am I- I suspect I... Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. Am I in the leaderboard? Oh, I'm three. Okay. So, Imelda's not even number one on here. So if I can beat it under a minute and a half, cut off 30 more seconds? I don't know that I can do that without upgrades. Rebellion. I haven't been around here. Maybe I should take a look before I go flying off. She's not even... She's only third on the leaderboard! Is there nothing in these areas? Just... Okay. I'll go return to this guy. Pretty cool. Oh, why can't I enter hogs meat on a broom? Come on. All right, sir. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Mm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my works had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <laughs> <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? 
I mean, if Elliot Smethick had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Great. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? So, do I want to go to the room of required? Yeah, I do. I do. Let's go do that. We haven't been to the boathouse. Can I just mount down there? Is that something I can do? Probably not, because there was a door, right, to the undercroft? Or am I mistaken? Ooh. I saw that. Black Lake, or Great Lake, the sitting headmaster vainly prefers the prior, is an expanse of fresh water south of the castle. The lake's murky depths are home to merpeople, grandulos, and other magical aquatic beasts and beings, including the giant squid. Surprisingly friendly celiopod with a fondness for toast. <laughs> oh, I gotta change these again, and I don't. There we go. You are Incendio. that. Oh. Hi. Don't. No, I'm sorry. Revelio. I was trying not to disturb you. How nice to see you, my young friend. Oh, that's friend. creepy. I just realized that's where Snape dies. Uh. <laughs> Just had a moment of like, oh, this is where that happens. Okay. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Not for another hundred years plus. We're in the eight, 1890s. So many stairs. The stairs. So many lights. Now where are we? We've been in this courtyard. Okay. Alright. Lead me, please. Are you alright? Look like you've seen a ghost. If only. What? Get away! All of you! This is the restricted section. No. And none of your business. There <laughs> you are! Sneaking past me! I know. And taking dangerous books! They are from this the restricted section. Not yes, the dueling I mean, mount. Shut up. Enough. Here, perhaps you'll find sweeping the courtyard more productive. What me? Use a broom, not to fly. That is what I said. And let this be a lesson to all of you. Off limits means off limits. <laughs> Barking books. Ugh. Reading can feel be like a muggle. I can't look at one of them. I saw something about the Cruciatus curse. I did! Oh, shut up. Ravenclaw looking for knowledge. Afraid of a staircase! Why, Phoebe's? Going this way. If I could undo all that happened that day, I would. Who the hell is Eddie Cleaver? Let me You you came back? 
Revelio. Where is he? Wait. Quest begin. Okay. Oh, is that the Bloody Baron? Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Oh, is this... is this the hallway? In front of the room of requirement? Yeah. Face three times. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Oh, I don't have glasses on anymore. When did that happen? I was looking at her glasses and I was like, where'd mine go? What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Except that this room specifically should only appear if you're in need of a hiding spot. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. Really? This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those. What do I change to my? There we go. Uh... Excellent work. You oh, I got Moonstone. That you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? What's this? Is that... Goodness! My old school bag! <gasps> I wondered where that had got to! I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Hey. Yes, Professor. I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. T. Oh. Revenia. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Okay. Oh, 
This thing, right. No, no, I don't want to... Still getting used to s switching triangles. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Just come here. Oh. What was the point? Oh. To climb up there? Oh. Well, shit. Before I do that... That's weird. Okay. <laughs> that was exactly what I was supposed to do, apparently. Twilight cloak? That sounds interesting. What's that look like? Oh, okay. It's just gray. So, where are we supposed to go? Rebellion. Oh, right in front of my face. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, oh not no! Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless oh. pile of tin! Oh. Feel bad for him. Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Uh, it responds to your needs. So, you did need a bath. You were thinking about it. That's cool. <laughs> 